for checking in. This is my top 10 favorite fragrances for spring 2015. I will take in account two uh, categories. First off, how the fragrance smells itself, how um, I like it. Second of all, how much I have actually worn it. So I just want to stress that all of these are actually top favorites of mine and I really really like these so it doesn't really matter at what place they stand in this top 10 but um, I had to decide in terms of um, how much I got to wear it and um, how I liked it overall wearability etc let's get started I have two honorable mentions they should be in this list but they didn't make it why because I pretty much overlooked them I kind of I didn't really feel like wearing them a lot um, they are excellent fragrances though so go check them out first of all I have this one by the house of Chanel called Bleu de Chanel um, beautiful uh, lemony grape uh, lemony ginger fragrance spicy fresh elegant works wonders go check it out um, and second of all I have one by the house of Baku Raban. it's a flanker to the original which got a lot of hype when it first came out but it kind of died down and is overlooked this is a black excess Lexe it's a tacky bottle but the scent I really like this lemon and something fruity and I know something sweet or fruity that's my impression um, but going through the notes on Fragrantica there's nothing sweet or fruity in there it's the combination of her herbal notes with the fresh uh, lemon that gives me that impression probably I'm not sure what it is but doesn't really matter the fragrance itself smells excellent yes it's kind of it's kind of synthetic in a way a little bit synthetic not that big of a deal because the smell is awesome my second honorable mention moving on to the actual list um, my number 10 by the house of Sospiro and this is called uh, Caprizio Caprizio is all about white flowers berries musk patchouli this is a beautiful fragrance i've actually worn it today it performs excellent on my skin um just go check it out if you get the chance to do so it's in my opinion it's unisex but uh some people say it's a little bit feminine i can see why probably because the white flowers are pretty dominant it's also a little bit sweet but not too much it's just done right in my opinion i plan to do a full review my number 10 capriccio by saspiro number nine by my favorite designer house uh, of all times this is by Christian Dior, a flanker to the original from the 60s, Eau Sauvage Parfum, don't be fooled. This is an all uh, completely different scent, it's not like the original Eau Sauvage. The juice is much darker and the scent is much darker. No, just kidding. The scent is not dark, it's um, balsamic. It smells really, really pleasant. From the bottle, it doesn't really um, it doesn't really shine. You really have to apply this on your skin and leave it on for a couple of hours. You will start to get beautiful wafts of myrrh, vetiver, bergamot. It's pretty simple in, as terms of, in terms of notes, but it, it feels really complex. Myrrh is dominant, but it's fresh thanks to the bergamot beautiful fragrance in spring why um, it performed and it just felt right I know a lot of people will say oh this is a, a winter winter fragrance they are right this is excellent in winter but for some reason I, I just enjoyed it a lot this spring so 
number uh, 1098. My number 8 is by the house of um, Azaru. It came out in the 70s. This is the original Azaru Purom. And this is, I believe, a older formulation. Smells excellent and it performs. And I've smelled the, the latest formulation. Okay, so I am glad to own this bottle. Try to get one if you can because it is much better. Um, lavender, herbal, leathery. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. It's mostly lavender with other notes and leather, woody background, beautiful composition. This is in the same league as um, Rive, Rive Gauche by Yves Saint Laurent. They kind of are brother and sister. But Azaru Purom is one of my favorites. I'm, I'm using this bottle sparingly, but it's perfect for spring, guys. My number uh, seven in this list is by the house of uh, Zurjov, and it's uh, from their Join the Club collection called More Than Words. Again, some of you will think, whoa, this is a heavy hitter. Yes, it is. But I tried it in the warmer weather. It can be summer, all right? Just be clear. Uh, let's be clear on this. It's, it's spring. It's it's it can be too hot outside to wear this but in the spring it's it's just just right given the fact that it's already a great performer a little bit of heat makes this fragrance nuclear so go easy on the sprays but the scent itself works well this is fruity rose oud smells a little incensey smoky in some way but mostly fruity and rose oud there's it's beautiful i really like this one so does my girlfriend this is one of my favorites favorites in my entire collection guys more than words number six another classic fragrance i love my classics by the house of guerlain uh, i only uh, acquired this bottle lately so um I think maybe next year it will be higher up in the list because I really, really, really enjoy this fragrance um, called Habi Rouge Eau de Toilette. Um, latest formulation, still smells awesome, still performs. So uh, this is basically a fragrance that's fresh yet sweet, sensual and warm at the same time. Beautiful stuff, Abbey Rouge by Guerlain. This kind of makes me feel uh, like a masculine, uh, this kind of gives me a, a, an impression of a masculine Shalimar. If, if you guys know Shalimar, this goes hand in hand with Shalimar, but this is more masculine, okay? Number five, this is a fragrance. I'm not too sure if you are familiar with this, I think, the brand lacks uh, some sort of distribution network. They are not too available across the world, I think. If you are lucky enough to be able to smell this or buy this, go do so. It's not a blind buy. Eh? It's not a blind buy, but it's a definitely, it's definitely a try. I adore this stuff. Um, it's by the house of So Oud and it's called Nur Au Fin. Nur Au Fin. Fragrance is based around uh, leathery herbal notes. I can't stress enough the herbal part. F words come short uh, to describe this fragrance. Go check it out on Fragrantica if you like it. It smells like nothing else I have ever discovered this is, is truly a, a special fragrance and it performs excellent it gets me great compliments and I've worn it a lot my number five number four gets compared to a, a designer fragrance called Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal. just want to be clear on this they they are worlds apart this is all about 
flowers, neroli, sandalwood, uh, lots of stuff going on. Mostly it's flowery, while the uh, Jean Paul Gaultier is about lavender and vanilla. This is, like I said, more flowery and they share some sort of DNA. There is a resemblance, but if you try them side by side, they are not the same. This one feels more natural. I love Le Mal, but this one feels more natural. It also lasts uh, longer on my skin. Um, try it if you haven't heard from it. It's called Reflection Man by Amouage. My number four. Moving on to number three. This is another uh, classic. It came out couple of years ago, uh, I think maybe in the 90s, late late 80s, I'm not sure, doesn't matter. By the house of um, Versace, it's called The Dreamer. It's a little bottle because this is what I got first, but I like it so much that I already got a backup bottle of this. The Dreamer um, smells awesome, fresh. Yet you have that, that beautiful tobacco in the background. I really, really like this and it's very wearable to work as well, which is important. Um, this is another all-rounder for spring. The Dreamer by Versace. Moving on to number two. This is a fragrance that I can wear uh, any time of year, any occasion. Beautiful scent, it, it gets too much hype recently, but it's still one of my favorites. Um, I wore it a lot in spring and I got some great experiences. It's Creed Aventus. What else? Uh, pineapple, smoky, beautiful scent. Don't ask me what batch it is, I will not comment. Just kidding. My number one is uh, probably no surprise if you have followed my channel. Um, this is one of the fragrances that really grew on me. I didn't really like it a lot at first, but for some reason, the fragrances that I don't like at first get to be my top favorites. And I've worn this one the most in spring, therefore it is my number one. Another one by the House of Sospiro called Accento. Flowery, musky fragrance. Go check it out. Uh, I have a full review on my channel. Um, but yeah, this is my number one. Accento by Suspiro. Beautiful stuff, very versatile. If you have any questions guys, uh, comment down below. Like this video if you did and subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for watching and until the next one guys, bye bye.